Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing? It is Wednesday and it is absolutely peasy down out there. So I'm just back in. I hope you're all doing fine. I'm not struggling today with pain levels and etc etc. If you know what I mean with fibro or any other chronic illness. So excuse that curly hair because I've just left my hair up in a bubble. So I've just sat there top thinking about stuff and I thought I'd talk about my therapy dog and how I got her and what she does etc etc so I didn't physically wasn't giving her I trained I got her as a puppy because I wanted some something that I could something I mean a dog that I could easily train and take out and be able to take them into the shops now I need to get her a new harness because the one that she's got is just not fitting right well so, I got Millie when she was seven weeks old. I mean, she was really small and cute. I wish I could get some pictures. If I if I can, I'll try and put me near, I think they're mainly on my Facebook, but I lost a lot of my photographs when I moved back down from Scotland to back down to England. Um, but yeah, so Millie, 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 I, when I got her, she was always, well, the, when I had to take her to the vets because she was riddled in fleas. Um, and I took her to the vets because this, she's not seven weeks old. She's younger than that. So they had to give her an injection cause, to get rid of the fleas. Um, and then I just started training her. Making, and when I did get her, she was like a bit of a softy anyway. So she wanted to sleep on, on my shoulder as you were a baby. I had to have her in my bed. She peed on my bed and everything. Um, she, she'd sleep like biscuit is asleep and she she just didn't want to be alone. So I thought, great, this is the best dog I've, I've had. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to train her. So I'm on, Thomas helped me as well, and I managed to get a top potty trained, etc., etc., as you do in, as a puppy. And when she, when I used to pretend to cry, and they go, come here, really, and she'd come to me, or, you know, same with sleep, she'd have to sleep in my bed with me, and gradually I got her to the point where that's what she does now. I couldn't even, I wasn't allowed to go in the shops with her back then because, obviously, I didn't have an harness and stuff like that. Um, oh, my shoulders are killing me today. Um, and then, like I say, training, just walking. She used to walk. If I, if I dropped the lead and pretend, well, I did fall. I used to fall quite a lot. And thankfully, I did have a nasty fall once when I moved back down here to England from Scotland. I fell and looked like I went, Millie, and she comes straight running back to me. Bless a little heart, and then put her head on my chest and stuff like that, or on my on my legs. Mainly, she puts her her head on my legs and stuff. Uh, and then it's just gradually where I have when I'm having a bad day, whether it's pain, whether it's my mental health. She sits with me, shoulder her head on my shoulder because she likes to sit on the back of the settee sometimes, so she wraps her head round, or sometimes in my arm while she throws herself back like she thinks she's a human being. To be honest. Um, and that's what I wanted and when I go for a walk I can, I'm able to take her into the shops but like I say I need a new harness so that's on my agenda when I get some spare brass money whatever you want to call it um, yeah so that's how, it, how I got a therapy dog, assistant dogs, whatever you want to call them but she's like my best friend as well if I'm crying if she knows I'm, she'll know when I'm even before I know I'm going to cry, she'll come in and just sit there with paw, put a paw on me so she can jump up and sit with me. And, yeah, it's lovely. I've got a therapy dog that helps me with things. I've got with my mental health and my physical health. Because right now I've got a pair of crutches that I bought ages ago off Amazon. Um, and I, I didn't get the ones that you get from the hospital because I, I don't know, they're just... I did buy some years ago, but they just don't right. These ones are supposed to, you're supposed to lean your arm in, elbow, whatever. And I physically can't use it. It's just not, I just can't. So I'm using my stick, which then I trip over, um, which I've had to do today. And sometimes when you're out and about and people look at you thinking, you shouldn't be using that. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't help having a disability, you know what I mean? That is affecting my mobility. Um, 
yeah. If I sit down, I won't get back up. That's why I'm studying. Uh, Rain is in the little bedroom at the minute because I'm just mopping the floor. She's just been in the season. I think she's coming out of it now. I'm just rest against the dot wall. Um, so I've been cleaning up after her, and now I'm physically exhausted. So I, just, I thought I'd jump on here and just talk about Millie. Um, I do a lot of YouTube shorts with her as well, so that's fabulous. Um, I am recently though, because with Tom being in the front room a lot, I've not been able to do as many as I'd like to do. I've just done one a bit ago. Sorry, because someone keeps catching me eye outside. Um, it's very wild out there. Um, so yeah, and she doesn't just always help me. She'll sit with Tom. She knows Tom's not well, or Olivia, even Hannah, and. So I'll just go and sit with Hannah for a bit and then when I need her, which I don't always know until she comes in and then I start feeling emotional or I need some kind of cuddles from her. But yeah, I love I love how I managed to train and how quickly she she took to it. Even though she's a Springer Spaniel, I got warned about them dogs because they're very hyper. And I'm like, well, I've not had any issues so far. Touch, touch wood, ow. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that we have is when we go for a walk and even when I took her for a walk and I let her off leash if it's a big field when there's no other dogs she runs around and has a moment and that because she needs to lose weight she's piled on the pounds uh, she'll run around and stuff like that and then when if another dog comes and I call her I've got Millie she'll come straight to me sit down and look at me uh, I can't find the tennis balls or the thrower thing that we we had because I'm in the little bedroom right now and it's like a dumping ground. Um, so eventually I'm going to go through my room, get rid of some clothes that don't fit me. I'm going to donate some books because I buy them and I don't read them. And yeah, I'm going to have to go and sort that dog out as well in a second. So I just have to give the dog a treat to shut her up. Um, but yeah, let me just go. The floors are squeaky, so I trying to hold on to stuff but then when I'm holding on stuff my wrist and I'm just in Hannah's room because she's at her boyfriend's house until I pick her up later uh, <sighs> oh that looked weird when I did, this, did that um, so yeah oh my back <sighs> is anyone else having a bad day with a fibro pain it doesn't help I've got a slip disc as well so it's like Bella no um, one second guys Oh. <laughs> you know, Sutty, so you're a bad boy. I've got a little small dog, well, medium-sized dog cage, and obviously I'm having to separate the cats at the minute. I'm just waiting on the cat protection with the vouchers, and then I can get them all three of them muted. So it's separating them. So Raina, shut up! Uh, hello, Millie. Come here. Come say hello to everybody. Yeah, hello. Who wants a bath? Who wants a bath? Right, guys, I'm going to have to love you and leave you, unfortunately, because Raina is absolutely barking mad. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. Let me know how you're doing and in the comments below. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. See you later, guys. Don't forget to like that button, press that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. And I'll see you soon. See ya.